I know there are a lot of girls out there. I'm, I'm not worried about that. It's just that Charlotte is like. <sighs> now the first step is admitting you have a problem. Very good film. I liked it. I like that it sort of deals with characters who are trying to find their way in life. I think that's something that's very, um, something a lot of people can relate to. Um, what attracted the both of you to doing this movie? Uh, exactly that, I think. I, I think it's rare that you find a film that's very character driven and purposely messy, that does not, where there's not a lot of clean lines, where you are lost, where you are struggling, where, you know, I, I don't think you get to come across those very often, especially in the genre of like a romantic love story or even a, even a generic coming of age story. And so it was really nice to wear those, wear, you know, sort of speak in that voice and, 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 and take that journey. Um, so for me, it was wonderful. That's yeah, I liked the fact that, you know, in most scripts you read, everybody has a really strong motivation. And in this, it feels like those motivations are subverted at various turns. And I really like that. Um, I feel like that's what happens when you come out of school and you have these strong ideals and you have these ways you expect your life to go and then something different happens and you have to kind of go with that. And I feel like the whole script sort of celebrated that process. Yeah. No, I definitely relate to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An idea of what you want to do and then suddenly it changes. Right, and you're doing, yeah, exactly. And you're doing something completely different, but maybe something you didn't realize you love even more. Mm. Yeah. You know, that's a really fun discovery to make. It is, yeah, I agree. And, um, I have to ask, uh, Chris, um, your character in the, is listed as the boy in the credit. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was just curious, what was the reason for that? Uh, the name that was originally given, I uh, hated. So I told him to strike <laughs> it. And, uh, no, I, I don't, that's not true. Um, I think for Maggie, again, it was sort of, uh, I think she loved this idea of keeping it very ambiguous in so much as that this doesn't, this isn't one character story. This is all of our story in one in one sense or another. It's a very universal story to tell, and so I think for Maggie, by not giving uh, my character a name at all, by sort of letting him drift on into the ether, just like the boy, a boy, um, was something really important for her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I was wondering about that. And, um... I personally thought I was going to be credited as the man, but that's that's fine. That's fine. The boy is fine. We'll get past it. That's the sequel. Yeah. By the time you get to the end credits, it should say the man. I, I, I'm glad you and I are on the same page. Yes, definitely. Definitely. And then um, uh, what I liked about both of your performances is that you inhabit the characters more than act them. You know what I mean? I mean, there's just a very natural feel. I, I love this, man. Uh, can we, like, let's hang out more often. Can you do all these <laughs> interviews? Please, please, you talk more about it. Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah. Talk about me. Yes. Talk about me. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. But, uh, yeah, it's just very natural. And uh, Maggie Kelly, I know, uh, co-wrote the screenplay. She's an actress as well as a filmmaker. Is there any advantage to having um, a director who's also an actress? I think there, normally, there are advantages and major disadvantages. Um, Disadvantages being that oftentimes, if you have an actor director, they can be so they can scrutinize every single thing you're doing. But I think with Maggie, uh, it was just the opposite. I think Maggie really understood where we were coming from before we even knew where we were coming from half the time, and so as a result, she I think spoke to us the way that she wished a director might speak to her, which is really refreshing for us. And so there was a lot of collaboration. There was a lot of making us feel like we were a, a priority and that. Uh, we felt comfortable with the language and the scene and the blocking and, and it just, you know, having having her create such a, a collaborative environment really made us, I think, exactly like you suggested, really inhabit this these characters. And especially when we had such a short shooting schedule and I think it is easier almost to build the world that you're going to be working in and collaborate with the director and the other actors on that world and then just excavate the performances rather than, you know, excavate the characters rather than have to deliver. So right. you kind of have this mind that you can tap into and when you've got 18 days and you, it's useful to have a million different things that at the last moment you can just go, oh, we talked about that earlier and we've already created that and it doesn't have as much artifice in the moment. And Maggie coming from a theatrical background too, I think really wanted to put any sort of emphasis on rehearsal that she could. So, you know, again, when you're when you're shooting on such a crazy uh, tight schedule, there's very little room for rehearsal and, and so um, she she brought us in whenever whenever possible to just run lines, to get comfortable with each other and the space and the language and that I think really made a difference. Yeah, definitely showed the screen. So you had eighteen days to make this movie? Eighteen days. Wow. Eighteen long days. Long days. <laughs> short turnaround. Really short turnaround, some <laughs> lot of those days. Yeah, yeah. I keep hearing about you. 
schedule is getting shorter and shorter. So it's it's impressive that you managed to bring it all together to this movie. Yeah, definitely. And um, also, uh, um, was there anything that you two added to the script or the scenes that weren't wasn't initially corpsing a oh, lot, corpsing? Okay. a lot of laughing on camera. Okay, I don't. I've heard this expression like once before, and I. Is it not an American thing? I think it is. I'm just maybe a, just like slow to the uptake because I just hear you saying corpses. <laughs> we killed a lot of people. Is what is what we brought to this film. That's well, what did. I feel like it sounds like you're just saying. Just about corpsing is like when you laugh a lot, right? When you yeah. break character. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Rose is uh, drastically unprofessional. So, <laughs> so while I was doing my best to carry the weight of the film, while the boy on my shoulder, was carrying the weight. Well, the boy was. Yeah. No, we definitely we we uh, I think. With anything, whether dramatic or comedic, you always have to be able to laugh on set. But that's my favorite thing as well, is like when you're building a relationship, the, the fact that I can look at Chris and genuinely laugh is really helpful. It, it's great. It's, it's you, you don't always have that connection with the people you work with. And we are really lucky that we had this thing where we loved to go to work for these crazy long days because we were having such a good time. And I just think that that builds a much more genuine relationship in the film. Yeah, definitely. It does. It definitely shows up on the screen. screen. And, um, I, I have to ask you what it was like working with uh, Allison Janey and Clark Gregg, uh, who both, they have very memorable performances in this film. Um, yeah, it, it was, I mean, uh, it sounds pretty straight, it sounds kind of boring to say it because it's so simple, but it's true, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I think it's always such a gift to be able to work with actors who are, who have been around longer and who you can really learn from. Allison and I just happen to be great friends as well, which makes me just feel like the coolest kid in school. Um, <laughs> Allison and Rose are also really good friends, um, <laughs> but but yeah, with Clark it was the same thing. I mean, you know, Maggie uh, and Clark worked together at the Atlantic Company, and and so I think there was it was really kind of wonderful to see that relationship because it was sort of Clark's way of giving back to her, and yeah, it's it's just nice, and especially yeah. just lovely to see people who work and just can kind of get whatever jobs they want, choosing the projects that they believe in and that they want to work in, and just still having that passion and that reason And still it. wanting to support new filmmakers. I think yeah. it's a beautiful yeah. thing. You can do whatever you want, any job, what is it? I'm not worried. You shouldn't be. I propose a toast to my new junior vice president. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> if you wanted a real job. That's not really you, is it? There, the brightest star in the sky. Godspeed. This is gonna. This is. We'll, we'll do luck. our best.